Hello everyone, I am Gaidera and I'm making a quick video on uh, how to upload an avatar uh, to VRChat. Uh, this tutorial is kind of just a quick one where it's like, okay, this is what you do just uh, to upload an avatar that has been sent to you by someone who already made it. So this doesn't have all the other things on how to rig or whatever. It's just I, I, I received an avatar uh, and I want to put it on my profile, right? So um, what you're going to start with is you need to get Unity, of course, but uh, you want to get a very specific version. And I'll leave a link down below, but on VRChat it, said, uh, it has a link called setting up the SDK. And what you do here is, um, what I suggest you do is to actually download the Unity Hub. If you click this, it will actually take you to the Hub and you can download it here. Uh, once you have that installed, you can click here and then it will install the version of Unity that you can use with this so-called SDK, which you will see in a bit just allows you to actually upload files. So uh, you click here and it will say, hey, you want to open this? And then you say, yeah, open it and it will install that version of 2017. And after that, you also want to actually just already download the VTR uh, chat SDK and just put it somewhere that you're like, oh, okay, that's where it is. So um, yeah, you know where it is at least because you're going to need it in a bit. So what you're going to do, right, is you're going to open up Unity then uh, or the Unity Hub and it should already have installed or is installing the 2017 version. So what you want to do at that point is make a new project and just call it, let's call this one test tree and create a project and you'll get a nice little empty project. Once you have that empty project open, you want to actually go to the file that you have been sent by your good friend of your model that you want to upload. And it will say, do you want to import things? Then of course you do because it all has the things that you want. So don't think about it, just click import. Now if the friend that sent the Unity package is smart, he will have added a scene that he saved. And that scene will just load in all the things uh, on the character. So otherwise it will not say have a hat or whatever while it is in there, but it's not rigged correctly yet. Um, having that save file basically allows you to just click that. Um, so for example, I added one on the asset called old open me. When you click it, it just does all the things here and puts it in the right spot. So now we have our little Shiba. So the idea is, of course, we don't need to actually edit anything because the person that modeled it for us already has or like rigged it and all that. So what we're going to do instead now is just uh, add the SDK. So if you remember where you saved that thing um, that was on that other website, you're going to go to assets and go import package, custom package. And then you need to actually find the Unity SDK. So <laughs> I coincidentally know where mine is, so that's good. Otherwise, this would be really awkward. So I put mine just on a, a Unity folder. I say open, and it's going to say, hey, you want to import all these stuff? You technically don't need all of it, but I don't bother with telling you what you do and do not need. So let's just kind of skip that part. So one thing you do need to know is that you need to know your uh, account to log in, because in a bit, it's going to ask you to actually log into um, VRChat. Now, what you might want to take note of is that it can happen that Unity will crash at this point. So you might actually want to start with uh, loading in the SDK before you actually load in the model. If it crashes, which by the looks of it, it might be doing right now, um, don't worry, it did save your file probably already, and you can just reopen it, and it does have the SDK loaded in. It's kind of a, a thing that can happen here and there. Welcome to Unity. So it's like, ah, it's crashing, yay. But don't worry, you can just go like, oh, test three. And ta-da, it's still loaded in. Well, it's it doesn't have the save file open for some reason, but as you can notice, the SDK is loaded because you get a little extra tab here. And that's what we're gonna need. So basically what we're gonna do now is actually upload the avatar. So those were the first three steps, right? Um, is it three? I don't even know. So what you're going to do now is actually go to show control panel. So we have our Shiba loaded. One is active um, and it's kind of just standing there and we don't need to do anything. So you want to sign in here. You do need to do that. 
and it says, oh, you're logged in. So one thing we want to do first is actually detach the blueprint. And the reason for that is uh, a blueprint allows you to save either over uh, an existing thing or uh, make a new one. But for some reason, the Unity likes to make a new one. So what we want to do, and it says like, yeah, I don't understand this. So we want to actually detach it and let it make a new save file, basically. So you want to go to this little tab here, which is the inspector. You have to click your Shiba for it. And then go a bit down, and it says here, pipeline manager script, blueprint ID, detach. So if you want to know a quick little thing, right? If you want to, like, say, replace one of your files, say I want to replace my camdog, and this is a completely new thing I've opened, you click copy ID here, and you shove that here, and that's the blueprint. And this is also the blueprint that they use in the world, so now you know. Um, so what you want to do from here, right, is you detach to the blueprint, you go to Builder, and you just say Build and Publish. And that's honestly about it. So what you're going to see now is that uh, Unity itself is going to make give you an upload page. And uh, you can either make a, a little photo, which is the thing that people see, uh, and all that. So um, we're not going to really do that. Well, actually, you know what? We'll do that because you might want to actually have a fun little picture, right? Um, if you're noticing you have like a bunch of errors and it doesn't allow it, just re close Unity, save the thing first, I guess. Uh, close Unity, reopen it, and it should be gone. It, it does happen every once in a while. I'm just going to drag this to here. So like I said, here is your little thing. So what you want to do is just call it like Doggo or whatever, version 2. It's just for yourself anyway. Um, here you can say pub, private or public. You want to put it private because you finally got the, the model yourself, right? I mean, this is the entire point. Otherwise, you, someone would have been able to share it to you anyway. So, And then click uh, that you accept the thing. So if you want to change this camera, uh, you can do that. But it's, it's a little trickery. You're going to go have to do a thing in Unity, right? So if you click Scene here, um, and then you uh, look for the camera that's actually the one that VR chat is using. So it's this one by the looks of it. It's usually kind of the same picture. So you kind of move that up or whatever and make your own picture with it. You can pretty much do with it, anything you want with it, really. Uh, even have an animation going and all that because that's what Unity does. You, you're still making the game. And if you want to go back to the tab of uploading, you go to game and you see this is the picture now. So, and then you press upload, and that's it. It's now on your account. So, in summary, you uh, download Unity 2017 that's on that page. You download the SDK, you uh, open up Unity, you open up the file that was sent to you uh, by your friend with your character on there, and then you uh, add the SDK to uh, your thingy and then you upload it. So I hope this helps. It's still a bit of a long tutorial to my liking, but I think this will help out a lot of people. So have fun, guys.